Hello, Tech Talk, DMC, Intercom, Mo. There's some good snow over here. Okay, I'll follow you. When you're out skiing, imagine that you can easily talk with your skiing mates and your family over quite a large distance and that you can have your ski instructor telling you exactly what to do to improve your skiing when you're going down the hill. This is exactly what Kado Pack Talk Ski makes possible. Hi, my name is James Hecht and I'm a professional ski instructor and examiner in the Danish system. In this video, I'm going to share my honest opinion and experience about Pack Talk Ski to help you decide whether this is something you want to make part of your skiing experience. We have divided the review into two parts and in this first part I'm going to focus on my experience and the different use cases I see for Pack Talk Ski. In the second part I'm going much more into the technical details about range and battery power and stuff like that. In part two of the review we also do three extreme stress tests of the Pack Talk Ski unit just to see where the limits are and how far we can take it. So make sure you also check that out. Before we jump into this video, I want to be fully transparent with you guys and let you know that Kado did sponsor this video. What? But we agreed that it would make the most sense for both Kado, for us and for you guys if we could tell our honest opinion about the product. And if you decide that you do want a Pack Talk Ski, we have a referral link in the description that you can use to get a favorable discount and at the same time you'll support the channel. With that out of the way, let's jump into the video. So Kado has been an industry leader within the motorcycle industry for many years when it comes to communication systems. Uh, and what the Pack Talk does is that it transforms the motorcycle experience from being a solo experience to being more of a social experience where the whole pack easily can talk together. Get it? Pack Talk. Now Kado has entered the ski industry and they want to offer the same experience of skiing not being as much a solo activity but more of a social activity where you share the moments as you go. All right. Besides making it possible to speak with your friends and family when you're skiing, the Pack Talk also makes it possible for you to take your phone with the push of a button and to listen to music when you go. I will of course also touch upon those features later in this video. I think Pack Talk Ski can be useful for all skiers that ski in a group and want to be able to communicate with each other as they're skiing. I also see that the specific cases of skiing with your family and being in a ski school have some special advantages. And those are the three main things that I want to dive into. Skiing in a group, let's say with your friends, skiing with your family, and being in a ski school. So when you have the ability to talk to each other in a group when you're skiing, I actually experienced that it did transform the experience into a more social one, because if I found a small little fun place somewhere I could jump or make a different kind of fun turn. I would naturally do uh, a little outburst of excitement. <laughs> Woohoo! It was something we shared and of course when other people did the same I kind of took part in that excitement. So that's something I found was pretty cool and changed the skiing experience into a more social one. On the more practical side of things being able to talk to each other in the group when you're skiing, you're able to talk about where you want to go. Like if the slope was dividing into two directions, you could talk about what directions you want to go. And you could talk about where to stop. You could talk about like, I want to go to the restaurant, have lunch, or I need to go to the bathroom. And I think maybe some people prefer to stop and have that conversation, but I found it quite useful to have the option of having that conversation as you were going. Watch out for the ice here. Yeah, right. Got it. Whee. 
There's some good snow over here. Okay. I'll follow you. Janus? Yeah? Let's take a break here at the viewpoint. Yeah, all right. Woo! Woo! What a cool run! <laughs> If you enjoyed this little roleplay, make sure you give this video a like to let us know. You of course also have the option to and the other people in the group can mute themselves. And that's pretty convenient to have that option as well. Say if you want to go to the bathroom and don't want to share that experience with everybody. During the three weeks that we tested Pack Talk Ski, we didn't ski as a family with kids, but I can easily imagine I love you, Daddy. that many families would appreciate the ability to talk to each other while you're skiing, both to share the great moments on the slope and also be able to have this conversation about where to stop and where to go. And you don't have to yell Pizza! Now we can just say, do the pizza, honey. <laughs> so skiing in a family, especially with uh, smaller kids, I think it's uh, especially nice to be able to talk to each other and prevent the group from spreading out and maybe some group members getting lost. And if, if that happens, in many cases, it will be easier to find each other again. Hey, Stinu, where are you? I'm standing at the back. Um, next to the restaurant. Alright, yeah, uh, I'm at the skis. Uh, I can find you. We did a little stage illustration of how it works in a skin instruction setting. And I have a real ski tip for you in there as well. One of the things I really like about the Pactalk ski system as a ski instructor is that it allows me to explain my movements as I do my demonstrations down the hill. It makes it a lot easier for the skiers I work with to understand what I'm doing and what they are supposed to be doing. Let me show you what I mean. So here we are standing on a black run, a European black run, so it's quite steep. And a good way to approach this steepness uh, that will give you more control over your speed and direction is to make your turns round. So here I pick up speed and here I turn. Picking up speed here and decrease the speed here. Picking up the speed here, decrease here. And I turn round as much as I need to, to keep my speed down. When I've done my demonstration and explained to the skiers I work with what I did as I did it, the skiers can go down and I can real-time coach them as they go. Are you ready, Stina? Ready, Anu. Patience here and control the speed. Patience here, yes. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Yes. <laughs> so when coaching can happen when the skier is skiing, you can have more time skiing in total. So the result will be less standing still, more down the hill. <laughs> One clear limitation with the intercom system is that it has some difficulties when you get out of sight. So if you get behind a curve in the terrain, uh, the system might lose connection, the units might lose connection and you won't be able to talk. So if you get lost behind a curve, the system may not uh, help you that much. But as soon as you get back within sight, the, the intercom system will automatically reconnect and you are able to talk to each other again. So that was some of the use cases with the intercom system. Now we're jumping into the music feature. 
Since the Pack Talk ski is connected with your phone, you also have access to listening to the music on your phone while you're skiing. So this is something that some people really enjoy. And for me, sometimes I like to listen to music when I'm skiing, but mostly I prefer not to do it. But I really enjoyed having the option and the sound quality was actually really good. Because of the open speakers, you're able to hear most of the sound in your surroundings when you're using the intercom system. But when you're listening to music, that might not be the case. So please be careful and don't crank up the volume too much uh, so you're still able to hear all the skiers and what happens in your surroundings. Another cool feature with Packtalk Ski is the ability to talk over your phone just through the system. And it's actually really easy to take a phone call. You just have to push a random button and the phone call goes through. So what I found was that I didn't like to have a phone call conversation <clears throat> while I was skiing because I found that it required a bit more attention than uh, the usual ski chat I had when I was using the intercom system. So what I did was I just stopped uh, on the side of the slope uh, at a secure place and I had the phone call conversation. And if I had to make a call, I did it in the lift or uh, at the restaurant. And don't worry, if you take a phone call, you're automatically decoupled from the intercom conversation. So the people there are not able to hear your phone call. When you hang up the phone, you reconnect with the intercom conversation and you're back there. Skiing with Packtalk Ski has been such a cool experience and I really like the product. As a ski instructor, it has been phenomenal to be able to communicate with my students in that way. And it's, it's definitely a tool I'm going to use in the future as a ski instructor. And with social skiing, it's also a really cool and fun experience that I'll enjoy in the future. So should you buy the Pack Talk Ski? Well, it really depends on whether your group, be it your friends, your family, or maybe a ski school, can see any benefits from being able to talk to each other while you're skiing. I think the intercom system is the main feature with Pack Talk Ski. And if you decide, to that to make pack talk ski a part of your skiing experience we do have the referral link down in the description and by using that you'll get a favorable discount and you'll support the channel if you have any questions about pack talk ski make sure you leave them in the comments down below and i'll do my best to answer them and if you want to know more about the features of pack talk ski and see the extreme stress test that we did Make sure you check out part two of this review right here. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some value from it. Have a nice day and see you on the slopes.